guys welcome back so i am going to do a look with the milani glide it gold palette so if you want to see what i create just keep on watching <laughs> So I had this palette, but I never used it. Um, this even still has the plastic on here. So let me see if I can take that out. Uh -oh. Throw that out. And these are what the colors look like. I really do like this palette. It looks really nice. Um, but the thing is, I don't know how it's going to perform without priming my eyes because again I don't want to prime my eyes like I want to find a way to where I don't need to prime my eyes every single time I want to do a makeup look because it's so it takes up so much time and I don't have patience so especially with my leg being the way that it is it's like I don't want to like have to put any more pressure as it is already on my leg so I'm trying to avoid having to put so much time into putting primer on but um i i was thinking you know how i was doing the palette for the morphe it was like uh two like a video or two like before this one i did the 35 xo palette and i normally prime my eyes with just my concealer and then i set it with some setting powder but i feel like the reason why it was probably not working for me was because I don't know if my mess, my um, other Tarte Shape Tape was getting old because when I was just doing my eyebrows just now, um, it looked like there was like dry pieces coming off. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it was weird. So I don't know if it's because my primer, my um, uh, Tarte Shape Tape is old now. So I didn't have it for very long. I didn't have it for very long. I got it this year from the 21 Day Beauty for the spring. So I don't know, but I'm going to open up a new one and I'm going to use this one for underneath my eyes because it's been doing that for underneath my eyes because I'm starting to notice that I have a lot of creasing now underneath my eyes and I never had that much crease before like I used to have like a little bit of a crease because like that's just the way my eyes are and you can hardly get a smooth application down underneath my eyes but like lately I've been having so much more underneath my eyes so I'm gonna I opened up a new one to see like if that's probably the reason and I went ahead and bought a new beauty blender to see if that's what's the case because Having all those lines underneath my eyes are killing it for me. So I'm going to definitely try and um, do a makeup look using this palette. Um, this green is kind of like calling my name. You know what palette this looks like? This looks like the Natasha Denona palette. Um, Sun something. It's the one that has this color in it. So I don't know. It kind of reminds me of it. Um, so yeah. I'm going to try and do this look now. So I'm gonna go in with my JH30 brush and I'm gonna go in with 100P. Yeah, 100P, which is this one right there. And I'm gonna just go into my whole entire lid with that. It has a lot of kick up. I don't know if you see that right there. That's a lot of kick up, so. I'm just going to put this on my eye because I really, like I said, I don't want to prime my eyes. Let me move my mirror closer so that way I'm not tilting the other way. And again, I'm supposed to be studying, but the um, inspector is supposed to be coming to the apartment sometime this week coming up and I need it to wow that's really dark I don't know if it's because of my brush but well, whatever but yeah like I'm supposed to be studying right now because my test is on 
Tuesday, like I said in my last video, but I had to uh, clean up and not clean up because I'm not a dirty person, but I had to move my closet around because um, the inspector's coming and I had to move my, I'm going to show you because you guys haven't seen my room, I think. But um, I'm going to show you what I had to do because my closet, like my hanging thing was where the window was at. And like, of course, you can't be blocking your window. So I, I like had meant I've been meaning to move it. It's just I haven't had time. And then my knee, well, my leg started acting up. So I couldn't do that right at that moment. So now I did. And... I don't know. I kind of like it, but then I kind of don't. I don't know. I got like mixed feelings of it. <laughs> and oh my goodness. So yesterday was Halloween. And I am sorry. Like I kind of went on a rant on TikTok. I don't know why. It was just late at night. I was watching Hallmark movies because, you know, they have the Christmas ones out now. It's not even December. But um yeah so like you know what though not to get off like uh, just really quick i don't get it with hallmark because it's like you're playing all the new movies that are supposed to be released in december now so then what are you going to play in december do they have a lot of movies because i don't want to keep seeing the same freaking movie every freaking time like that's annoying but um yeah so Wow, I lost my chair. Oh, Halloween. So I get the whole like dressing up. You want to dress up really pretty. You want to um do like couple dress ups and everything like that. Like my favorite are the family ones. Like I don't even care about the couple ones anymore. It's like the family ones, like with the kids and like the parents. Like I love seeing those costumes. Like I don't know if it's because I have like major baby fever, but um. Like, I love watching those. Like, I love seeing those. I love all seeing the pictures and stuff like that. But then when it comes to people that are dressing up and they're trying to be sexy and they just look ridiculous. I'm sorry, but you look ridiculous. And it's like, I don't have a problem with people dressing up for Halloween. Like, I don't care if you're going to dress up sexy or whatever, but like... Don't look stupid. I'm going to actually try to go into this look, this color right here and put that like, you know, my normal routine. And once I find my brush, we will be in business. Um, I could try to use this brush, but yeah, like it's just like, I don't know. I just don't like when girls, like, try to be sexy and it's not working for them. It's just me. It's just the way that I look at it. Like, you can have confidence in yourself. Like, that's, I'm all for that. You can have confidence in yourself. But if you look stupid in whatever it is that is making you feel confident and no one tells you, then you don't you you're surrounded by people that are haters because you must be gorgeous and if they see that you don't you know what I'm 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 done it's okay all right so I'm going to go into Eden I guess that's the name of it it's very powdery very powdery I don't know if I like that this is powdery like look at this look at that that's powdery. It's way too powdery. All right, so I'm going to put that right here. I had to change my brush because I don't think the brush that I picked was going to work. Yeah, this one's not working with me either. I'm going to find my brushes. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so I don't know if it's probably because I didn't put any, um, I didn't set it, but I don't know. Let's check. So I don't know if anybody has been paying attention to um, Teen Mom OG. No, not Teen Mom OG. Teen Mom um, 2. And um, the girls are starting to aggravate me. I mean, they always aggravate me, but I don't know why I even bother watching it. I don't like literally watch it, watch it. Like what I do is like... I um, have it on in the background and I just listen and um, and there was like this part with Brianna where she got mad because her baby dad um, to her oldest didn't come on time to take his daughter to get her hair done. And she told him the night before, like she didn't tell him like weeks in advance. She told him the night before. And um, the only reason why she told him to take her was because she wanted to be selfish and go run errands like for herself, like things to do for herself, like get her hair done, get her nails done type of thing. And like... She got mad because he showed up an hour before he had to go to work to take her. And then her daughter decides to act like a little brat and say, no, I don't want to go with daddy. I want you to take me. So this whole time that she was waiting for him to come and pick her up to take her, she could have took her. Like, I don't get that. And then... um. She gets mad because he goes with them. He goes with them. And um, he's like, he couldn't stay long because he had to go to work. So she gets mad because he has to go to work. Okay. And then she proceeds to say in like those little mini interviews that they're doing now because of the whole COVID thing um like they do like little side interviews and she goes like that he should have took off from work so he could take her you call him the night before you call him the night before to take her to the hair salon and then expect him to call out of work what when you used to complain about him being a bum and then all of a sudden now he has a job and now you're complaining because he didn't take off because he didn't prioritize yo that bitch is stupid i'm sorry like i do not like her at all like she is a selfish person like very selfish very 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 selfish and i don't like that like i don't like that like she thinks everything needs to go when she wants it. And like, sorry, but like, you're going to sit here and say that he had to take off to take her to the hair salon when you were sitting home all day. You were sitting home all day and you couldn't get your ass up to take her to the hair salon. And then you're going to get mad at him for not coming on time. And then have to go to work. Get mad at him because he left early to go to work. I'm sorry. That's that's a no-no. Like, I would never do that. Like, But her mom is such an emotional person. It's not even funny. Like, she is so emotional. Alright, so I think I'm going to go in with this color right here. And I'm going to put that right here see how that goes i'm gonna use my finger it did apply really nice on my finger so let's see how it applies on here okay like it's all right like it's not like um wow factor but 
it did apply nicely it did apply nice so i guess we could save this look i just don't like the blue so far i mean it is partially my fault because i didn't prime my eyes so maybe next time i will prime my eyes and then i would redo this look or do a different look and go from there because if that's the case then i just need to prime my eyes i'm just trying to like avoid priming my eyes because if you think about it you waste more like one you waste more product for your um concealer and then you waste more money because you always have to go and buy new concealer like every like month if you're doing your eyes like all the time and then you like even if you go to buy an actual like primer for the eyes you're still spending money so it's like i'm trying to like avoid having to spend so much money so i'm trying to like cut back so i don't know you guys understand like i'm trying to well whatever you know what i mean so that did go on nicely i do like their shimmers that was really nice so i i like that i like that that came out this whole thing look at all that fallout all that fallout <laughs> it's very patchy but i mean it is what it is i'll just fix this right here because that's like okay now i think i want to go a little bit in more here I kind of want to use this color right here. I don't even care that it's really bright. I'm going to use it. That looks really nice. But yeah, Kale is like one annoying girl. Yeah. That came out nice. You know what it is, though? I got to get rid of all this. This is, like, aggravating me. I can't tell what it looks like with all that right there. Okay. I kind of want to do that wing liner again. Like, I feel like I'm starting to like the whole wing liner. The only problem is, is that, like, again, I'm not good at doing them. So I kind of have to practice so what I will do is just do it off camera and once I start to get better at it, I'll start like really putting it on while you guys are watching. But for now, I'm just gonna do it off camera. So all right, I'm gonna take this one right here and I'm gonna use that as like a brow bone color. Let's see if that does anything. All right, so I think I'm just gonna complete the rest of my face off camera and then I will be back to show you guys the end results. All right, so this is the completed look. Honestly, I like it, like I really do. I think if I were to um, like set my face like set my eyes with like the setting powder and all of that jazz i think it wouldn't be as patchy or look i think it would look a lot better so maybe next time i'll probably just have to suck it up and i'm gonna have to probably just suck it up and prime my eyes and stop being lazy because that's pretty much what it was i was being lazy but um overall i do like this palette like they 
this is actually a good brand i really like it's very powdery like if you saw that like i that was me like that was from me dipping my hand my finger in there but like i think i really do like this palette i think i will be picking up this palette again to use it and i really do like it so i think you should just go pick your pick it up um i honestly don't even know how much it was because at alta they didn't have the price on the like in the little section where it tells you like normally where it tells you how much something is um it didn't have the price on it and it, again um i did buy the um mascara as well um it was it just looks like this i don't know if you go into the store you'll see that see this one um it's i guess highly rated and this is what it looks like and this is what the wand looks like a lot of people don't tend to like these wands but i use this only at the top of my like on the top lashes and I think it came out pretty well. Let me actually you, zoom you guys in pretty much, but I got to move you guys up. My lashes look okay. Um, the, it did like volumize them a little bit. Um, I'm not used to it, but like, I mean, it's not bad. Like you could keep using it. It's not, I think you could get your hands on it. If you're looking for like a nice affordable brand, like to get mascara, like obviously this is not, high-end makeup this is literally like drugstore like you can get this like almost anywhere honestly you don't have to go to Ulta I think Walmart sells them um and I think CVS does but not a lot but Walmart you could probably have a better chance getting it there if you don't want to go to Ulta but um yeah so I mean, if you're just looking to get something that is affordable, I would definitely look into this mascara and this palette. Honestly, like, I think that if this palette was good, if this palette was good, I'm pretty sure the rest of the palettes were good, too. I think I kind of want to go back and get the other two palettes that they have there. And um, they do have a primer, like a uh, um, mascara primer. I kind of want to get that and see if that does anything for my eyes, too. And you know what? on tiktok there's this girl that does her lashes but she takes a piece of wood not a wood a piece of like cardboard and put it above her lash and then go like this and it actually makes her lashes even wispier i kind of want to try that trick but um maybe another day uh but yeah i would suggest these two um go get your hands on them i like it it's me approved um so yeah if you liked this video um please give it a thumbs up and if you're not already please subscribe and click the notification button down below to get all my future uploads i will be back very soon as long as my leg does not drive me crazy so yeah i will be back thanks for watching bye